Okay, welcome back everybody to Framing Part 5, for those of you that have been following this series. Um, in this one, what I'm doing is I'm building uh, the inner walls that will complete the stairwell and installing them. And what I'm doing here basically is, is I'm building the, the wall. I'm going to sheetrock it on the side facing the stairs. And then I'm going to stand it up in place and secure it. Um, that way, uh, the part that goes down beneath the stairs on the sides is already sheetrocked. I don't have to worry about it. So, uh, just kind of follow along. You'll see how this goes. And then, um, uh, when I do the uh, uh, a short leg of the wall, the short leg wall for the short section of stairs that's uh, already up. Um, that one, I'm going to build the wall, but it's going to, the sheetrock is going to extend over three quarters inch, and I've already left a space um, for it to go in the long wall so it'll fit together. So now, as you can see, the, the wall's already made, uh, it's ready to go in place. I've cleaned it out swept it out and I'm going to position it in place but I'm going to use a, a spare piece of sheetrock to give me the right space in between the short leg of stairs and the end of the wall and then you'll see um, after I build the short wall section with the piece of sheetrock hanging off three and a half inches it'll slip into that notch that the um, that space that the scrap of plywood created and then it'll be sheetrocked all the way around on the inside. As you can see with the um, sheetrock walls on both sides of where the stairwell, upper stairwell is going to go, um, I'm, I've already got the uh, stair stringer attached to the outside wall and now I'm going to use a laser level to give me the exact uh, correct height and I'm going to fasten and secure the, uh, the other um, stair stringer to that wall. Next I'm going to build and install the um, frame and structure that I need so that I can install the center stair stringer. Uh, this has to be pretty beefy, pretty strong, so, because it's going to be carrying a lot of the weight uh, on the stairs. The first part is basically the top step. Um, it's actually the step that's above the stair stringer, but it's going to be attached to both walls, anchored heavily into both walls and supported by the, the headers on both walls. So it's not going anywhere. And then uh, the next piece that goes up is the main frame and brace for the center stair stringer. And that actually is going to slide in beneath that top step. As you can see here, where I'm, I have to slide it in. It's a very tight fit. And once that's in, then the center stair stringer can go up and all the steps can go up. Okay, so having the stairs done, uh, the next step is to put up the uh, uh, rest of the floor joists. And um, in the area of the stairwell, I'll be uh, putting a uh, end, end piece on attaching all of the, the joists that fall short of that outside wall there. Because of the stairs, I'll be attaching them with an end, end board and securing it to the top of the wall. Okay, and now that I have the end cap on the joist above the, the stairwell, I can uh, uh, position and secure and nail and block 
all of the uh, floor joists that it connects to because I have the, the I know the length and how far they are out and all that so it's it's secure and it's all tied together then It's interesting that um, you know the the way, whenever the floor comes up to the, to one of the main posts in the building, then I have to adapt and oh, I can't go with the standard spacing. I have to uh, I'm securing the, a joist on each side of the post for added strength and, and uh, rigidity in the whole building as a whole, but I need to tie it together to the whole structure. That keeps everything in place and locks everything down so that nothing can move. And the final piece is the uh, end beam that goes on the uh, edge of the floor. Um, it's wider and heavier and splices into the other beam that's over the center section uh, because the wall goes above it. 